Branded as the coolest pastor slash host on TV. Nandito na naman po ang inyong Kuya Ru, Delatore, logging in for a brand new episode of Road Trip, y'all. Youth advocate of purity, an inspirational speaker, author of exciting adventures. Described as favored and as a graced man who loves God, alamin natin naging road trip ng money story ni Pastor Ru Delatore. This is ministry. Kailangan yung decision will be between you and God. Bunso sa tatlong magkakapatid si Romel De La Torre or mas kilala sa tawag na Kuya Ru. Abay mabibilib ka rito dahil gumaraduate lang naman siya as cum laude sa University of Santo Tomas with a degree of arts major in economics. He also earned his master's degree in business administration from the Ateneo de Manila University where he was awarded a silver medal. But after he experienced God's grace and love, Ru responded into his calling of becoming a full-time pastor kaya naman nakapagtapos din siya ng degree in theology sa Asian Theological Seminary. And today, he is the youth director of Wildfire, ang youth ministry ng His Life Church. Nakilala din siya dahil sa manifesto movement na kanyang itinatag. He is also happily married and enjoying being a father to his princess. Welcome back to Peaceabilities. Arman Benko po ang inyong lingkod. At nandito tayo, kasama natin si Pastor Ru from the, the TV program Bad Trip. Bad Trip, bago yun. Road Trip. Road Trip. Road Trip. Road Trip. Welcome to the hello show, po, hello uh, Pastor Ru. Thank you for having me here. Kamusta ba ang buhay pinansyal ni Pastor Ru? Ano yung una mong recollection or pag mag-reminis ka about pera nung bata ka? Naisip ko agad baon eh. Baon. <laughs> Nung bata ko baon, so um, I, I praise God po na yung parents ko naman po ay uh, talaga nag-supply naman ng magandang baon for us. Uh, in fact, kahit po nakatira po kami sa province, pinaaral po kami sa Manila kasi mga advocate yan ng education. Eh. So, ayun po. So, baon uh, in the form of allowance. Yes pera. po. Opo, opo. Uh, naalala mo ba what age ka unang pinagkatiwalaan? ng allowance na pera? Um, grade 1 po siguro. Ah, grade 1 pa lang. Oh, uh, de pera na ang baon mo. Oh, po. So, hindi mo naranasan yung uh, mag... Uh, lunchbox. Oh, lunchbox. Na, tapos, uh, na, pag binuksan mo yung baunan mo, namamawis yung uh, baunan, yung kulay ng hotdog nagkumalat na sa baunan at <laughs> sa kanin. Hindi mo naranasan yun dahil pera. Kinder po, tsaka prep. Kinder tsaka Yon. prep. Grade 1. Grade 1. Opo. Pera na. Pera na. Opo. Kung naaalala mo, kulang, sobra, sapat yung binibigay sa yung pera nun. Yung, yung parents ko po kasi, even when we were still young, tinuturan po kayo mag-save eh. So, as far as I could remember, yung baon ko po was like, uh, siguro mga 30 pesos. 30 pesos. Tapos, uh, a, day. a day. A day. And then half of it, Alam ko po, iniiwan ko sa bahay. Kasi... Bago ka palang pumasok sa Opo, iniiwan ko na sa bahay. Tapos, uh, so yung dadalin ko yung 15 pesos. And then, pagkakasyahin ko yun. Yung uh, pagbigay sa'yo ng allowance, ano? Uh, never naging issue na na-delay, hindi nakapagbigay, or uh, yung parang unang experience mo o pagkamulat mo na may problema or seriousness dun sa pera? Ah, uh, huh. Wala naman yung delay po, hindi po namin na-experience. Na-experience ko po nung, yun lang, medyo na-feel ko lang na yung family namin was like struggling. Nung pong pumutok yung uh, Mount Pinatubo, okay. tapos there was a time na yung kinikwento ko po sa inyong naipon ko, dahil nga sobrang difficult yung times, parang ano eh, yung nag-ashfall, yes. Tapos wala talaga close Were lang in, yung mga shops. Were in a province in Central Luzon? Opo, in, uh, in Pampanga. Ah, in Pampanga. Naglahar, ah, okay. ganyan. So, tapos one time, my, my parents went to me and my mom told me, sabi niya, ah, kung pwede lang kasi sarado lahat ng business, ganyan. Kung pwede, hiramin muna yung, uh, yung naipon mo. Ah, so, ganyan. parang sa akin, first time ko na, ah, okay, so something, something's wrong, ganyan. And then, uh, ayun po, so sabi ko, sure. Na-mention mo na bata pa lang, uh, nakakapag-provide naman, uh, pag-supply naman yung uh, uh, parents. Uh, ano ang unang uh, money lesson? Sabi mo, bata ka pa lang, tinuturuan na kayo mag-save eh, kaya iniiwan mo yung 15 pesos. Was that the first lesson na sinabi ng parents? Yeah, I think it, it, it was. Ano, they na... directed that? Uh, Ruh, iwan mo yung kalahati ng allowance or on your own volition? Hindi mm, po eh, parang yun, own volition lang kasi... 
Kasi yung parang kahit bata pa po kami, pag, liba, pag Christmas, yung mga binibigay ng ninong ninang, Binuk, pinagbuksan po nila kami ng savings account. So, bata pala may bank account? Oo, oh, tapos may, may passbook na, okay. ganyan. So, parang sabi niya, o oh, yan, ipun ka, ganyan. So, nung po nag-aaral na, nung nagka-chance na, tinatry ko po talaga na magtabi. Nung uh, nag nagiging teenager, uh, nag-college na, nung college, nag-Manila ka na from Pampanga. Apo, apo. Um, paano na, mas malaki na ang allowance na binibigay? No, 100 na. 100 na. <laughs> so, tapos, uh, mas may financial management na na nangyayari. Opo. Hindi naman siguro araw-araw pa binibigay 100. Opo. Ano baka weekly? Weekly po yun. Weekly. weekly. So, paano ang... Tapos, syempre, dal teenager, college, paano mo nababalansa yung uh, temptation sa labas from your own uh, luho, peer pressure from your own classmates, ganito pala ang Tapos gamit niya. Tapos po, naniligaw pa ako. Naniligaw? Oo, oh, naniligaw pa ako. So, yun ang pinakamalaking expense ko, yung panliligaw. So, paano ang pananaw mo sa pera noon? Paano mo siya minamanage? Yeah. Or bara-bara uh, lang siya? Oo, oh, bara-bara lang. Bara-bara lang. Oh, paano dumarating ba yung point na kinakapos, kinukulang? Meron po, meron. Uh, nangyayari din ba sa'yo yung Monday to Friday dapat yung pera mo, Tuesday pa lang? <laughs> wala Wednesday, na. wala na. Ha? So, Thursday, Friday, hindi ka muna magpapakita doon sa nililigawan mo. <laughs> Monday to Friday, Monday to Tuesday lang. Ano yung mga naalala mong talagang na problema ka sa pera? Oh, pag kasi yung peer pressure nga po, no? yung mga, nauso kasi nung college, yung mga gadget-gadget. So, ayun, parang may isang time na bumili ako ng cellphone, bagong cellphone. Tapos sa'yo ko, bahala na, ganun. So, ayun po, nung walang talaga ako ng money, tapos hindi ako makauwi ng province dahil wala na, pati pamasahe, ganyan. Sa atin, lagi natin pinapaalala, managing personal finances, lima. Earning, planning, saving, spending, investing. Alam po, hindi mo nakuha yung lima na yun. Oo, oh, pwede, pwede po bang, ano, <laughs> earning, notebook, notebook, earning, earning planning, planning, saving, spending, investing. Okay. Kaya ko binilisan, ano yung unang experience mo nang kumita ka ng pera? Earning. Ah, earning. Siguro po, nag-OJT na ako. Ah, nag-OJT na. Opo, nag-OJT ako, tapos meron akong 300 pesos per ah, day. Per day. Oh. How did you feel or, and what did you do with your first earning? Na, ano po yun, naubos agad. Naubos? No, pinabili ko ng damit, ganyan. <laughs> Tsaka pinalibre. Ganon. So, walang management. <laughs> walang management. So, Opo. tumawid ka agad from earning to spending. Opo. Ano naman yung unang-unang conscious effort mo na mag Tipid. Aside doon sa allowance mo na 15 pesos tinabi mo nung grade school ka, tapos 15 lang yung dinadala mo sa eskwela. Yung talagang you decided, uy, mag-iipon ako, magtatabi ko. Um, I think nung pong, ano na, kasi yung OJT medyo malakas pa po yung loob ko mag-spend na mag-spend kasi OJT pa lang, parang kasama ko pa rin yung parents ko. Pero pagka-graduate po, yung unang, nung nag-sweldo na ako, yun na. I felt like, uh, syempre ilang years na lang from now, mag-aasawa na, yung mga ganun, ah, tapos... So, dumidigit na rin yung planning. Apo, apo. So, yun, medyo dun na, pero mabagal, hindi po ganun ka, ano, ka-serious sa pagsisave. On investing naman, investing, I'll help uh, simplify it. Yung talagang may pera, ginamit mo, and you are ready to wait some time for you to harvest it. Ha? words mo yan sa road trip, di ba? Pag minsan pinapanood yan, harvest. You harvest what you sow na siguro matagal-tagal na panahon. Ano yung una pananaw mo, tama o mali, hindi natin sasabi the judge na unang investment na ginawa ni Pastor Ru. Um, ano lang po, time deposit. Yata. Time deposit. Opo, yun na yung pinakaalam ko pong investment. Kasi medyo malaki yung interest versus dun sa, sa savings. savings. Outside of your parents, sino yung, kung iisipin mo yan directly or indirectly, Parang nagtuturo sa'yo tungkol sa pera. Was it your first boss? Was it uh, a verse in the Bible? Because we know how many verses are there in the Bible. Bago po ako naging Christian, I think it's my parents. Your parents right? And then when I became a Christian, ayun na, yeah, meron na pong mga financial coaches na mga Christian. Right. Even sa, sa mga preachings, minsan they have a teaching on stewardship. Right. So, stewardship. Opo, dun na po ako natuto na, ah, okay, so ito pala yung Ano, meron palang pwede pagbasihan. Nilinipad po yung, ano, yung payong. Tapos, alam niyo po yung hinabul-habul ko doon sa kalye yung payong. Tumiyak na ako. Say ko, Lord, say ko, nung dati, hindi ko naman naranasan to. Tapos ngayon, nagsiserve naman ako sa inyo. Bakit, bakit naranasan ko to? And that was the time na parang si Lord sabi naman niya, sige lang, you know, you're doing it for me. 
Bisyo mo, palaguin mo. Walang mangyayari kung manonood ka lang. Tawag ka o text mo kami o i-click mo ito. 0917-633-6688 0917-633-6688